Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss some more problems. The first question that we are going to discuss is how many non-empty collections are possible by using six P's and five P's and six Q's. Okay, so how are we going to solve this problem? Now, if you have five P's with you, the number of collections that you can have for five P's is that let me write here. You take not a single P, so you keep it empty. I'm not going to take any P. Otherwise, I can take only one P. The third way is I can take two P's at a time. Then I can take three P's at a time. Four P's at a time. And five P's at a time. Similarly, for six Q's, you will have not a single Q, means that set is empty. Set only Q, one Q at a time, two Q's at a time, three Q's at a time, four Q's at a time, five Q's at a time, and six Q's at a time. Okay, so here, if I want to form a, an, a, a collection, so I will pick any one of these and any one of these. So this is a collection, this is a member of the collection in which I have taken three P's and I have taken five Q's. You may also take a collection of the type in which you will not take any P and you will just take two Q's. So here I have not taken any P and I have taken two Q's. You may also choose a collect, uh, an element in this collection in which you will take three P's and you will not take any Q. So P, 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 three times P and so on. So I will go on finding all such combinations. But one combination in that will also come that you will neither take any P, you will not take any P and you will not take any Q. So that collection will be what? That, that element will be empty in this collection. So now we are supposed to find that how many such elements will be there in this collection. Okay, that is our problem. How many elements will be there in this type of collection where you are taking five P's and you are taking six Q's, but the number of elements that we want is non-empty. How many non-empty such things are possible, right? So you observe that if I take both empty, that is not allowed. That element has to be excluded from this collection. Okay. So how many choices are there to choose a person from the first set? From the first set to choose a person, you have six choices because there are six number of people in this first set. So this first is having six choices. And how many, how many choices are there to pick an element from the second set? You have seven choices because these are seven people on the right hand side set. So you have seven choices. So the total number of choices will be how much? 42 choices will be there to do this. But this will also include empty set. But I don't want empty set. So including empty. So how many non-empty will be, uh, we will have in our hands? So the non-empty collections will be 42 minus 1, which is standing for empty. So you will have total 41 number of collections of using what? Using 5 P's and 6 Q's. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about addition principle.
the first problem is that if there are 18 boys and 12 girls in a class then how many ways are there to select a student from the class now this is clearly uh, by the use of addition principle because the addition principle says that r1 objects of type 1 and uh, r2 objects of type 2 so if you want to pick one object from this type of collection the total number of ways to do it, this is r1 plus r2 okay so this is the total number of ways to do this so here in this problem you have 18 boys of type means, means it is type 1 18 objects are there and type 2 12 objects are there so total number of ways is how much the total number of ways to pick one student from this given class is uh, is what 18 plus 12 so this is the simplest problem for the addition principle let's write this. so the next problem is that we have a bookshelf that has six different english books three different french books and 10 different german books so how many ways are there to select the first question is one book of any language so we have uh, three types of uh, sets in the first set we have english in the second set we have french and in the third set we have german books which have six objects three objects and 10 objects out of which we have to choose only one object we want to pick only one object so this will be clearly by the addition principle so by the addition principle the number of ways is uh, going to be 6 plus 3 plus 10 so this is simple addition principle now in the second part what we have is we have to choose three books of each language so here you have six English books. These are six English books. Then you have three French books and you have 10 German books. And you have to pick one book of English, one book of French and a book of German. So how many ways are there to choose any one book of English? So we have six ways. How many ways are there to choose French book? We have three ways. And how many ways are there to pick any one book of German? So we have 10 ways. So the total number of ways will be given by how much? Will be given by 6 into 3 into 10, which is a clear cut a problem of multiplication principle. The third part is that now we want to choose only one English book and a French book. So we are here, uh, we want to choose only two books out of which we have to choose the first book must be English book. So for, for that, the number of ways to choose one book of English is uh, six ways. And there are three choices for us to choose a book of French language. So again, this is a problem of multiplication principle. And this is the way we will do the third part. In the fourth part, what we have to do is we have to choose any two books of different languages. Okay, so here we want to choose only two books. Now, if you want uh, two books of different languages, we are left up with three types of pairs. Either I will choose an English French book or I will choose a French German book or I may choose a pair of English and a German book, right? Now, how will you handle the first case? English and French. So English and French means there are six ways to choose English book and three ways to choose a French book or for French and German you have three ways and ten ways or in the third case you have six ways to choose English and ten ways to choose German books so the total number of ways that you will you you can make the choice of these two books of different languages will be six into three plus three into eight into ten or 6 into 10 so this will be the total number of ways so that you can choose any two books of different languages so the next problem is that there are 15 married couples in a party and we want to find the number of ways to choose one man and one woman such that the first part is that they are married to each other so now in the first set what we have is we have 15 men 
and in the second set we have 15 women we will assume that the first man is married to the first woman over here the second man is married to the second woman over here and so on right so if i want to choose one man from this set there are 15 number of ways to choose one man from this set as soon as i choose this man from the first set so, so so suppose i choose this man then the only choice left with me from the second set is that i must choose the first woman because they are married to each other so the number of choices to choose a woman from the second set is that we have only one choice we have only one way so the number of ways to do this that one man and one woman be chosen so that they are married to each other is nothing but 15 multiplied by 1. So we have only 15 number of ways to find such a couple. But in the second part, what we want to do is that once a man is chosen, we want to choose a woman so that the woman is not married to the selected man. So suppose I choose, I will assume that the first man is married with the first woman, the second man is married with the second woman and so on. These are the 15 people. So from these men, I will choose one man and I have 15, 15 choices to do that. Once I choose this man, this woman now cannot be selected because they are married to each other. So the number of ways to choose a woman from the second set is only 14 because we cannot choose this woman from the set of women because we want a couple such that they are not married to each other. So the total number of ways is nothing but 15 multiplied by 14. So the next problem is from 1 to 100, how many digits how many two digit numbers are there? So we all know that the two digit numbers from 1 to 100 will start from 10 to 99. And uh, these numbers are, these numbers are 90. So there are 90 two digit numbers from 1 to 100. The second question is how many two digit odd numbers are there? Okay, so. So the, so, so the two digit odd numbers are there is that we have in the first place you have nine choices because you can fill any one number from one to three up to nine and in the second place you can fill the odd numbers so it should be one three five seven and nine okay so that should be the player the digit in the units place and in the tens place you can write any digit from one to one to nine so for the first place you have nine choices and for the second place you have five choices so the total number of odd numbers are how much 45 we actually know that there are 19 two digit numbers out of which half numbers will be even and half numbers will be odd so 45 even numbers will be there and 45 odd numbers will be there and this will help us to solve the third part. In the third part, what we want is we want all two digit even numbers which are having distinct digits. So we have 45 even numbers, first of all, because 45 are odd. So 45 even numbers are there, which are two digit numbers out of which we want the, di the digits should be distinct digits. So we don't want 22, we don't want 44, we don't want 66 and we don't want 88. Right. So this, so how many uh, are these numbers? These are four numbers which are two digit numbers and even numbers both, but we don't want such people. So we have to reduce those four people from this set and therefore the total number of choices will be how much will be 41 number of ways to choose two digit even numbers where the digits are distinct. 